Hi everybody, I'm going to begin priming my eyelid and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand and I'm going to be using this Real Technique sponge to be applying it on my eyelids then I'm going to be setting it with my very favorite Wet n Wild contouring palette in the shade Toffee Caramel then I'm going to be using these uh, eyeshadows which is the Wet n Wild uh, eye palette I'm going to be picking up a taupey uh, color that it has and since it's not very pigmented and I honestly wanted something very gray, I'm going to just tap it a little bit on that black shade of that same palette. So I'm going to be combining those two colors and trying to build up the coverage and the color of these eyeshadows right on my crease because um, I'm going to be covering the lid with a glitter so I just want that to be defining my crease. Then I'm going to be using a shader brush and I'm going to be applying a little bit of a setting spray. This one is by, by Wet n Wild and I'm going to be using the uh, glitter pigment by L'Oreal. This one is Silver Sky and it's very pigmented. I am actually in love with these pigments. I had seen them before in the market but I had never really been drawn to them and this time I really wanted this glitter to pop. It is very finely milled and I don't think it will burn your eye and nothing happened to mine. And I'm going to be defining this um, eyelid very, very defined right there by the crease. Um, you can go ahead and probably blend it but this is what I was going for and it's a very well defined cut crease if you will. So I just went ahead and packed this on using that setting spray actually helped. Uh, the glitter to stick and I go all over the place so that was actually very nice then I'm going to be using the eye makeup um, studio eyeliner by Maybelline this one is in the this is the blackest one that is out there and I'm going to be using a Morphe angled brush to be applying this this angled brush is just a tiny bit too big for me I think and but I still made it work I still applied this eyeliner really like it because it was very very black and I just went ahead and defined my eye with this just creating a very fierce wing on both my eyes and that's basically what I did for this for this look then I went ahead and cleaned up my face with a makeup wipe and I went ahead and used the NYX um, eyebrow pencil this one I believe is in the shade soft brown and I really really like it. I used to use the other Anastasia and Beverly Hills uh, I brow definer but this one actually works really really well and it's half the price so I really like that. Then I'm going to be priming my face and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild face primer that I am really liking and then I'm going to be color correcting my dark circles with this NYX a concealer this one is a very orangey concealer I went ahead and combined these two foundations which is the Milani in the shade 02 and the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation in the shade 204 I'm really liking this combination to be honest because uh, the other one the Milani is a little bit drying it is a full full coverage and the Pro Glow is a little bit more sheer so it actually, my face felt really hydrated. I really, really liked it. Then I'm going to be concealing with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Uh, the same one that I use to prime my eyelids. So I'm going to be applying this uh, under my eye, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, under my nose as well because I get pretty red right there. And then on my chin. And I'm going to be blending this out just to kind of also highlight a little bit my face and just to make it a lot more you know uh, give it a lot more coverage then i'm going to use again my banana powder from the wet n wild contouring palette i already hit pan on this and i mean i'm not that sad because it is 450 so it is actually pretty affordable and i love it i'm going to be smoking smoking out my lower lash using a pencil brush the same eyeshadows that I used for my crease I'm gonna be applying them on my on my under eye then I'm going to be using this new wet n wild well new to me wet n wild contour stick I believe this one is, is a bit too orange uh, this one is great I believe for uh, bronzing 
not so much contouring at least not for my um, skin tone but it actually blends out really really well I was really impressed and it is all also like less than four dollars this jumbo stick so I really liked it then I went ahead and used that same from the wet n wild contouring palette the contour sh shade I went ahead and set that wet and wild just to also give it a little more coolness to it and also to be bronzing out my my face a lot more I'm going to be cleaning up with the banana powder and that setting brush that I used under my my cheeks just to kind of give it a little more structure if you will then I'm going to be using this wet and wild highlight palette as well this one has different shades and I used the champagne and a pinky one that was there and I I mean it was actually really really nice it gave me like an inner glow it wasn't that intense then I'm using these elf blushes these pinky blushes as well and then I'm just gonna be using this L'Oreal uh, carbon black mascara for my lower lash I'm going to be using this at NYX um, lingerie lip this one is in bedtime flirt and then I'm going to be going over top this new for me Milani lipstick this one is very creamy and it's in the shade 27 Dulce Caramelo and it is actually really really nice you can leave it like this which I was intending to do I went ahead and set my face and but regarding the lips you can leave it like this it's just a very soft lip very soft pink but I went ahead and used a lip liner by L'Oreal. This one is in the shade Wine, Red Wine. And I went ahead and, and put it on top. It's not as red as you might think or as the color might say. But this combination actually gave it a little more um, stronger pink, if you will. I wanted something a little bit more bold. And this one actually did it. I really, really liked it. And I just went a little bit over top with that Milani creamy uh, lipstick and this is the final result i hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a great valentine's day until next time i'll see you later bye bye